hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today 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 huh today we are in the slaughterhouse and before i start this video let me show you how i nora my to you eh? that is french how i nora my to you repeat after me how i nora my to you yes welcome to your favorite chef kitchen and this is how i know that eh? camera eyes on me this is how i make my knives sharp because i'll tell you why because i like them nice and sharp especially when i am going to butcher butcher the hands You know what? When I was growing up, I was taught how to just go on a rock and just hey, I'm sorry for people who don't understand my French, but for those people who understand my French, uh -huh, that is how we do it. Okay, you have to make sure you rinse your kinefe. Okay, your knife, rinse it. Make sure that today we are going to slaughter the chicken the hen okay the rooster the goku mokoi whatever you call it how do you call this chicken in your language how do you call this in your language let me show you uh the head the head of the hen how do you call this and today i can even teach you parts of the hen there is the head the eyes are closed the beak mokanya uh the neck uh, yo, yo. Uh -huh. and then there is a uh, tomatago you can see right here today i'm mixing the video the language everything you can see the the the, the wings uh to fly and this is uh this is the booty and you can see it wiggles it wiggles the tail this is the tail of the chicken and when the egg is coming out it comes out through this uh a uh, buttock hole and these are the legs and these are the feet and everything that goes on in the hen these are part of the chicken okay say after me part of the chicken okay now which uh, parts of the chicken do human beings eat uh, literally uh, human beings can eat any part of the chicken they like whatever makes you happy eat it some people eat the feet i don't eat the feet i just eat the um, the drumsticks and uh, the thighs the what this chicken is so so skinny oh my god by the way guys this is what they call brown chicken here uh kienyeji chicken or brown chicken this chicken when you buy it you buy it in asia here we buy it we buy this chicken in asian market and what we do is we go for brown chicken the frozen usually most of the time they are frozen so you buy it there and this one tastes uh, a little bit closer to those uh free range chickens that we have back home without further ado oh my god this chicken has a lot it's so skinny I can't wait how are you look at this chicken and me I don't eat the neck of the chicken so what I do is I cut from here and I throw it away because I cannot eat this this part I will cut it and then I'm gonna throw it away ah, it's so hard okay so the whole entire thing I'm gonna throw it away I don't cook this part of the chicken so that is going in the sink and then it's gonna go in the trash so I'm left with this I'm sorry chicken and um, this is uh, not animal cruelty this is uh hmm, this is uh this is you know this is part of us human beings so this is mostly fat I don't usually cook this little um, what is this this is a uh, matani i think I, I think i can cook this right but it's all mafuta i'll cook it hmm? kangui kangui in my french okay so usually i remove the skin because uh it has like uh you know 
it has a lot of cholesterol so i'm just gonna remove this uh skin let me put them in the sink and then i'll clean out later um hmm i'm gonna remove i uh, remove nicely remove the skin i'm gonna show you how i remove the skin i just make sure that i remove the skin i don't like to eat the skin some people like to eat the skin but for me i don't eat the skin i leave just a little bit but not i honestly remove uh the skin all the she can tell me on the comment section if you prefer to eat the skin for me i like boneless skinless chicken well i don't mind i i, I like bone <laughs> I like bone, bone in, but skinless. Eh? You just remove that uh, part of part of the chicken. As I said, if it makes you happy, you can cook with all the skin. If it doesn't make you happy, uh, then you can remove it. Uh, this chopping board is so 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 small eh? for this chicken. It's too tall. Uh, the chicken is tall, tall, tall. And the chicken is skinny, skinny, skinny. So I'm just, in a minute, I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, those are the chicken wings. I'll make sure that I, I make sure I cut this and I throw it away and I cut. I'll show you in a minute, guys. So with the wings, I break them by hand like that. Uh, you know, I don't have my glasses. Guy! And my knife is not even sharp. I tried to sharpen it. It did not sharpen so that's the part of chicken wing i cut them oh i usually cut this little piece out like this and i'm left with this so this one i'll cook this one i won't cook i throw it away as you can see i'm left with the arm and i'm um, i can we eat the arm uh with the chicken ha ah, my god okay, okay. So you can see some fat there. I can leave that little fat. As I said, I don't like to keep the skin, but I like to leave a little bit of fat here and there uh, just to make sure that, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, all this skin. Are you sure, guys, you eat all the skin? Look, how gross. Huh? I don't like to eat that part of the chicken. Okay, kagoko, kagoko, kavaro, neko. Okay, now, cameraman, watch out, be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm gonna make sure I cut this. Ah, I did not cut it. I don't cook this, they, I throw them away. Some people, they eat them, and actually here, if, if you go to Asian stores, you'll find some stores that are selling only the chicken legs, huh? Pekeake. So... They, okay, there, I don't need those. Sometimes uh, at the Asian market, they can cut the chicken for you. But for me, I don't like because they use that machine. And you know, sometimes it breaks the bones. By the time you're eating the chicken, it has a lot of broken and smashed bones. So I try not to have them cut for me. If it's beef uh, or anything like that, they can cut for me. But not this. I don't like chicken. Okay, being cut for me, yeah? Because they smash the bones and it makes it so hard to eat. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the drumstick and these are the chicken thighs. You know, chicken thighs, chicken thighs. So, see guys, I'm teaching you parts of the chickens. Huh? Part of the chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, now, this is the thigh. I cut it like that. Believe it or not, this chicken is not too big. Ah, uh, it's just a small medium chicken. I can adjust. This one, Darren can eat it. Pekeake. Cindy or Darren? Mm hmm. So, you can eat Not all of it. You can eat all of it. <laughs> You're a man. Men, should, men, men are supposed to eat a lot. A lot of food. But anyway, who loves meat in this family, Darren? Me. Huh? Me. You sure? Between you and Nyla, who loves extremely like? Oh, Nyla. Oh, she Between loves me. meat. Guy, Nyla can eat the whole goat. Nyla loves uh, meat. It doesn't matter what kind of meat, but she loves meat. 
Darren loves me too. Darren is not a picky eater. So, see? Darren, let me tell you, you are one of the best, best in the West. Because you know what? You are not a picky eater. Whatever you cook, Darren tries to eat. Even if he doesn't like it, he will please you by eating it. <laughs> He does, he's very he's a very uh polite child he likes to eat and make uh you know try and make you happy why do you do that though oh look at the eggs what is this guys eggs or darren how come you eat and even if you don't like it you still try to force yourself <laughs> to make me happy you you make good food Guys, did you hear that? Straight from my son. Be careful. I am being careful. I don't want this knife to go on your, on your face. It's not breaking. Ah, I can't I can break it, so I think I'm going to end up... Oh, there. Yeah. See? I want it to break into pieces like that. Ah, good. Ah, this one. Eh, <laughs> We don't have to cut it again. This is good. This is enough. Eh, this is enough, enough. Enough, 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 enough. You know, one day Darren asked me, how come I've been in America for all those years and my accent have never changed and my English has never gotten better? I like, never asked you that. You asked me that. Every, you asked me. You said, how come I've been in America for so long and my English is still... My accent. Did you say my English or my accent? I didn't. I never said it about your English or your accent. Do I? You? Am I lying here? Well, if I did, then I don't remember when I said it. Okay, that sounds better. Because you said it. You said it one time. You said, "How come your accent? You are. You came to America many before me, and your your accent is still the same." And I said, just because, I, I told you, I remember, I told you, I told you my accent would never change. I think you said, oh, never mind. Because I'm, because I'm too old, I can't change, you know. You cannot ch change a no donkey. <laughs> Did I just call myself donkey? Okay, you see, when the bones break, uh, I don't like. Uh, at what age do you teach your children to cook on the stove? Uh, Darren, I don't teach him to. I, 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 he only knows how to make egg. What else do you know how to make? Egg, rice with a rice cooker. Rice with a rice cooker? Yeah, egg, rice. And you said you're gonna teach me how to use an air fryer. Air fryer? Yes, I will. And I know how to make pizza. Yeah, bake in the oven. Bake. Okay, uh, so what does that mean? That means when I'm late. Uh, Darren, I mean, like when I'm busy in the house, Darren can get pizza, frozen pizza in the oven uh, and throw it in the, uh, uh, I mean, in the freezer and throw it in the oven. It makes what's work easy for me. So guys, look, this is the most challenging part for me to break this, uh, the whole here, the whole area. This is the challenge. What is that? Okay. So when they when they slaughter this chicken, because when you buy it, you buy it like without the without the feathers and everything, and I believe they remove all the inside uh, shenanigans and they throw them away. So um, there are some parts of the inside which are not here, like kaigagio, kang kangui, ka. Uh, no, 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 no. What do you call it? There is that part that keeps the sand, where the sand, the, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call that part uh, where you break into two and then you, there's like sand inside. I don't know. I can't remember the name of the, <laughs> the name of that part, but it's not here. Even the kidneys and uh, the liver and the intestine and uh, everything, it's not inside here. Hmm? You know, this at this time I can be like my Yugno. Hmm? That guy cracks me up, eh? Redeemer for him, my Yugno. Hi <laughs> guys, I'm 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 Redeemer for him. I'm gonna be okay, there you go. What is this black thing here? 
Oh, that's like a blood clot. I'll throw it there. That's part of the trash. You see how clean the, the chicken is? The inside is so clean, eh? Uh-huh. It's so clean. Eh? Because they clean it out when before they put it on those shelves. Or before they put it in the bag. Okay. When did I pass it? Didn't. I will teach you how to cook the chickens, okay? How to make like regular meals. At what age do you teach your child how to cook food? Because Darren is turning 12 in like few months. How many months? Like it's April, May, two months. Yes, he's turning 12. So make sure you, you start sending those gifts his way. And uh do you think I should teach start teaching him how to cook now at this at the age of 12? Now go by kiss. Now go pa, I'm scared. I don't want the knife to Okay. This is tough. I don't like to. This is the part that really challenges me. Cutting the, you know, uh, the legs and everything else is easy. But when it comes to the chest, the chest really challenges me. Uh, you see here. Okay, be careful. <laughs> I'm like, be careful. Move your face. <sighs> Guy. Hey, 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 what men can do, women can do better. You know, when I was growing up, I only used, I believed that uh, this kind of work is only for men. Kama kuchinja kuku. Okay. I'm, okay, there you go. I'm almost done. Oh my God. I thought it's a big chicken. Kumbe ni mole. This one, we can eat it for two meals, for two Two, two nights, huh? Tonight and tomorrow. I don't know yet what I'm going to make on the side. Uh, maybe I'll make it, I don't know, some vegetables and maybe some potatoes. Uh, yeah, potatoes and vegetables on the side. And then do like a dry fry. Huh? Dry fry, maybe wet fry. Wet fry, actually. Wet fry. Huh? Gotcha. Ah, that's a bad idea. Ah, you know, I'm too. Wah, 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 wah. I'm almost done. My video guy. <laughs> I'm almost done. I know I'm taking forever. By the way, guy, Darren, a lot of people, they like you when they, you record. They say you don't shake the camera. They give you all those compliments. What do you what do you say to them? Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell them in Swahili. Hold on, Thank you in Swahili, Darren. Asanti sana. In Kikuyu. I don't know. No, you know, you know. I don't know how thank to say you, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You know. Then? Mm. Then? Are you serious? No, like, I actually don't know. They, they. Thank you. Arafu. Say it again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm almost done, guys. They don't say thank you. You said I'm a good cook. What do I... What's your favorite meal that I make? Like, what's the best meal? Probably barbecue chicken. So you want us to barbecue this chicken? Probably. <laughs> I don't think it will. I don't want it barbecued. I'll do like a wet fry. Guys, 
I am not gonna show the cooking process because I want I'm not I'm in, I'm in a hurry like seriously I'm in a very bad hurry uh, that's all I'm gonna wash the chicken and then hurry 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 go pick up my daughter from the daycare uh, today daughter will take me and then I'll see you on the next video tell them something bye guys make sure you like subscribe and comment down below when you teach your kids how to cook of what age what repeat that again you're talking too fast so like and subscribe and turn that notification bell so that way you don't miss a video and make sure and comment down below on um, when you how old you like when you teach your kid how to cook at what age at what age yeah okay at what age do you teach your kids your boys or kids how to make regular meals on the stove huh? not just a little simple like a real meal like a dinner meal um yeah that's it by the way guys we're almost hitting 60,000 subscribers i really appreciate it. oh my god i can't wait 60,000 subscribers will be a big celebration kudos